Hi, it's Antoinette, the Delaware Blogger, coming to you again with another product review. Thank you, Drive Shop. Thank you, Mazda. We have a 2017 Mazda CX-3 Grand Touring, and you can see it's another one of my favorite colors, and I can't wait to show you the inside because it's a two-tone color, but this is a beautiful 2017 Mazda CX-3 Blue, and we're going to take a look and see around the outside of the vehicle which is obviously much smaller than um, what I had however it is larger than my bloggy buggy and it is a very very comfortable ride and I just absolutely love this vehicle there's so many bells and whistles and again I'm going to list out on my blog which is www.dellblogger.com I'm going to list out my top five picks remember Tony's top five and before we go any further you know she's from California so she wasn't used to the cold weather and the snow and obviously it is now very chilly by the time you see this will still be in the thick of the winter so she wasn't used to the cold I didn't really want to wash her and, and have it freeze but look at those great wheels they are awesome I mean it gave you such stability in this vehicle I love the inside and we'll take a look at the inside but again I'm going to list out all the specs for this 2017 Mazda CX-3 Grand Tour and this color is actually a dynamic blue now on the inside of this vehicle you'll see the is really compact so everything is really good for you the new driver or a driver that does not need a lot of bells and whistles you have your turn signals your hands-free bluetooth audio um, dimmer controls your instrument cluster windshield wipers all of that is right there and the infotainment center once i turn on the vehicle you will see it it is great it's compact it's easy and the controls are right there on the console and there's a great um, feature in this that I've never seen before and I want to show you it's called an active driving display and it's so cool because you can determine the vehicle length of the car in front of you so let me get in the vehicle and I'm going to show you how that works so like I said oh and it's also you know but I want to show you look at that in that great that is actually um it shows you not only your your speed but also the length of vehicles in front of you so your stopping speed is uh, your stopping distance is determined i'm not sure if you can actually see it but it's it's a great feature especially for the young uh younger drivers or maybe even the older drivers and of course with your telescoping um wheel here steering wheel you can move the up or down you know depending on the height but again there is some great information here on your entertainment system when we come around I'll show you the console but again you've got your normal very compact not a whole lot you've got you know everything right here your volume control you know your hands-free voice control your um, cruise control your wipers front and back front and rear and look at this this is what I was talking about that color of that door I love that leather and suede it's a burgundy leather and a black suede and um, let's see what we have here that's a uh, navigation system your communication is right there eight inch screen and I'm going to show you the controls on the console and how they work as well as the dual USB You also have the cigarette lighter adapter and your controls. Okay, now one other thing I wanted to show you about the steering wheel, which is great when you have two different drivers. Um, not only did it go up and down, but it is telescopic. You can bring it out further or push it in for you know to give you the distance between the driver so that's great as well as obviously you can move your seats back and forth but this is also a great feature up and down and in and out so you lock that right back in so that's a good a great feature on this Mazda okay let me show you the infotainment center 
The controls are here in your console. That rises here, you have two cup holders there. But let me show you. Here's the communication center. And you're just simply using this knob. You got your navigation. If you push here, it will bring up your menu. So I pressed it for navigation. You can also come back, you can put in your home. It'll take you right back. So you're just using the knob, communication, your settings, entertainment. You've got, of course, AM, FM, um, you know, all your audio sources. But again, it's one finger, finger movement. I love this because you're not fumbling on the dashboard. And speaking of dashboard, leather here and this white here. These are your hazard lights. It's really cool, you know, built in here. It, it like flows right in. Your vents here are great, vents there. Um, again, sporty leather, nice. I love this burgundy and black combination with the white accent. And the white accent that I was talking about on the dash is also on the seat with your burgundy and black typing. Very jazzy, kind of European. So I love this Mazda CX-3. Now look, Bose speakers. Now you know, I'm not gonna turn on the music too loudly, but uh, very nice, very nice. And your volume controls are also here. Volume controls are right there, so it's very easy. I'm left-handed, but I'm right dominant, so this is very comfortable for me. Your various speeds, your sport, you can adjust that. I don't do any off-road. Oh, and you have heated leather seats. Another plus. Because it's cold here in the Northeast. Um, a glass, you can put your sunglasses there. And again, you've got a manual sun visor here the sun visor here and then an automatic opening so if you're stargazing it's perfect we're not stargazing today it's too cold let's check out the rear let's turn this off and see how much storage space we have in the back once again we're here at the historical valley the back of our Mazda CX-3. Um, the latch is here and it opens right up. Nice size trunk space and you know what there are some uh, tethers in the back there so if you're putting your children's car seats there is that anchor in the back there as well. And the great thing about this, if you're shopping and you don't want people to see what you have in the back of your vehicle, these two anchors here, one on one side, and the other side. And that will conceal. Once you close the flap, it will conceal so no one can see. Let's bring this down so I can show you. You cannot see what is inside your vehicle. That conceals any packages that you may have. It's kind of dirty, I'm sorry, but that's a great feature as well, especially um, if you're doing a lot of shopping and you're, getting, you know, you're in a mall and you want to run back and forth, so that's great. So I like that feature as well. And it's, it's right back up here. Lock that in. Lock that in. As I was saying, these are the tethers for the back seats if you have car seats that you want to secure even further. And it's a nice, nice size. I'll show you a picture. I actually took a picture. My husband and I went grocery shopping and we got quite a few uh, grocery bags in here. So it's very nice in the rear. Underneath, obviously, and even further under is your um, spare tire, your jack. So overall, I could say that this was a very nice vehicle. Oh, there's also an, an additional light 
in the in the back there so if you're shopping and you want to get something out there's a little light there too so again this is the 2017 Mazda CX-3 Grand Touring and I thank you Drive Shop thank you Mazda and Mazda has a great give back program which I'll list out on my blog which remember is www.dellblogger.com I hope that you guys are having a wonderful day. Listen, don't forget, hit me up on Facebook at Dell Blogger, Instagram, Pinterest at Dell Blogger, and on Twitter at Delaware Blogger. Until the next time, have a beautifully blessed day.